honesty, if it looks like I'm crying, I'm not. My eyes are just super watery. They are in a lot of my videos because I film directly underneath my fan and I refuse to turn it off because it's too freaking hot in this house right now and the AC is way too loud for me to film with. So this video has been highly requested. I did one like this on my channel like forever ago. It was before I even had 300 subscribers. I was very new to YouTube. I believe it's called how to be positive, happy, and self-confident, something like that. I'll go ahead and link that below. So before I get into this rant slash this motivational talk with you guys, this little chit chat, I do want to shout out Motivational Tattoos for sponsoring this video and I am doing a little mini giveaway through them. So I thought that these were so adorable and fit this video really nicely. I have one on my wrist right here. It says, I'm gonna pull it up closer. I don't know if this will focus, but it says calm. I just realized that's probably going to show up backwards on camera. But anyways, I thought that these were so freaking adorable. They're little band-aid shaped tattoos that are temporary tattoos. I didn't like tat myself. And they have positive messages on them. If you don't like the ones that have words on them, they do have ones with hearts or just simple little pictures. And I look down at my wrist all the time, you know, when I text or when I write at school, etc. So it's sort of like a constant reminder. They have ones that say you are worth it, you are beautiful, things like that. So I am going to be giving away two boxes of these little tattoos and I'll write you guys a note and everything and yeah so if you guys want to win just subscribe to my channel and then follow my social media I don't really care about snapchat or you now because I know a lot of people don't have those but if you have Twitter or Instagram go follow me on there that's all you need to do and then you might get a box of these and if you just want to purchase them yourself I'll have that link below as well getting into the video now this is gonna be all over the place. I never take notes when I make videos. Like I don't really pre-rehearse what I'm going to say, but I do want to say a lot because I feel very passionate about this subject and that is that you are in control of your own happiness. You are in control of your own destiny that you can't really sit around and complain that things and circumstances control your life because you have more power than you think you do. And that's, one of my biggest pet peeves is when I feel like people complain about the same things but they never make any changes. And every single day, you are in charge of your own happiness. You are in charge of the majority of the things that happen to you. I will admit there are things sometimes that we can't control as human beings, but everyone has to deal with their own battles and struggles, whether that's internal, external, you really never know what people are going through. And this is also a subject that I don't really feel is too touchy on myself anymore because I have been in such a good place. But I remember back in like early high school when I was still figuring out who I was as a person, I really cared what people thought about me, like a lot. Like I cared if people judged me, I cared if people didn't like me, why they didn't like me. I really tried my best to please everybody and it was sort of too much. Like I was doing hella extra. Looking back, I don't know why I wasted so much time and energy and thought into people who probably didn't care about me at all. And when you grow up, you realize that people aren't as interested in your life as you may think that they are. You think everyone is nitpicking your appearance and the things that you are insecure about, your flaws, etc. But honestly, most people are worried about themselves. They are not looking at you. They're not even paying attention as much as you might think that they are. Like I can honestly look back and say that I am pretty much a completely different person now. I was never trying to be someone I wasn't. It just sort of takes you a while to find your niche, find what you're passionate about, find what you're good at, find what makes you happy what makes you laugh what makes you tick and really get to know yourself like inside out so what I am complimented on a lot as far as like internal personality goes is that I don't care what people think of me like at all therefore I don't limit myself when it comes to doing the things that make me happy and doing the things that I want to do I care very little about other people's opinions and some might say that's because I'm stubborn that's because I'm ignorant I, okay, I'm not gonna say I'm none of those things. I am pretty stubborn, but that's because I don't let other people limit me in the things that I wanna do and the person that I want to be because people will try to hold you back. I've learned that so many times, time and time again. People, they wanna see you doing good, but never better than they're doing as far as fake friends go and people in your life who don't truly care about you and truly don't 
want the best for you. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I might have butchered that definition there, but it's something like that. And when you think about it, that is what the majority of people do. They do the same things and then they wonder why they're unhappy. You have to sit down and think about what's making you unhappy in your life. And I realize that there are rare exceptions to this where it is outside of your control and there's not much you can do about it, but you know what you can do? You can change your mindset on the situation. There is always something positive you can take out of everything. I'm not afraid to make adjustments in my life when I'm not happy with something. I'm not afraid to let a person go out of my life that's hindering me, holding me back, or just putting me down. They say that you become the five, I think it's five, might be seven, I don't know. They say that you become the people that you hang around with the most often, but you guys sort of reflect your habits onto each other, and that's sort of like where you're at in life is the people that you surround yourself with, and I totally agree with that because when I have hung out with like different people it has influenced my life in different ways both positive and negative and you want to be around people who are positive who don't say bad things about people behind their backs who don't really say bad things at all of course we all have our bad days but you want to be around people who make you forget about all that and who make you grateful to be alive and to breathe air another thing that is crucial to happiness is you can't compare yourself to other people that means you can't look at others and be jealous. You can't look at other people and say, wow, they're doing so much better than I am in this category or this category. You have to look at other people and think, wow, they inspire me to want to be better, to want to do better. You can't look at other people and resent them and hate them and have like anger towards them. I know that sounds crazy, but you'd be surprised when you really look at people and their life and the people that they don't like and they talk bad about, what that's actually reflected on and a lot of the time it is jealousy and it is them comparing themselves to that person because maybe they're not happy in their life or they don't like their job or they don't have as good of grades as that person or they feel like they're not as popular or as well liked. There's always going to be someone who would kill to be in your shoes. So when you think you're having a bad day, someone has it worse. And I hate to look at it like that just because it's like, oh, people are going through worse things. That makes me sad. But people would kill to be in your position more than you know. I know there's things that control us and get us down from time to time, maybe all the time. Maybe lately you've been feeling really depressed and sad and you feel like you're just stuck in this negative rut, but you have to pull yourself out of that. Nobody else can do that for you. You have to lift yourself up. It's the same thing with relationships and love, but that's a whole other video. I honestly believe that you can't really love someone else and be loved and accept that until you have learned to love yourself. Whether you wake up and it's raining or it's sunny, you have to choose to be happy. Whether you wake up and you have zero dollars in your bank account or you have ten million dollars in your bank account, that is your decision whether or not you want to wake up with a smile on your face because you have to wake up and say, today is going to be a freaking awesome day and say that out loud, look yourself in the mirror, say it, write it down, whatever you have to do. Make an effort to make your days positive and happy just when you wake up and start your day every single morning and you'll get into the habit of that. I forget the exact quote for this, but this is something that's helped me over the years to be really happy as a person. If I'm ever feeling down on myself, like I'm ever just having kind of like a bad day, then whatever I'm lacking, like I feel like I need someone to be there for me and no one's there for me. Or I feel like I need motivation and I'm just not really motivated. Put that into someone else. Motivate someone else, help somebody else out, be there for somebody else, and I swear it's gonna come back to you. It's like an energy in the universe. So it's crazy how that works. Try it out. I swear you won't be disappointed. If you feel like you're lacking something, give it to someone else. I sound so cheesy in this entire video. This video is so cliche. Really hope you guys liked it anyways. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos. Also, I really wanna do an Ask Ally video again really soon. I haven't done one in a while and I'm sorry. So follow me on social media and then tweet me or just comment below some topics for that like anything really you guys want to hear me talk about and give my two cents on so I'll see you guys in the next video later alligators bye